Next on our list is to test the extruder motor. We have tested Z and X and Y, but we haven't tested the extruder motor. For that, we first need to heat up the nozzle. Do like 210 degrees, 200 degrees, doesn't matter. The problem is, if I try to extrude right now, the printer would tell me, sorry, can't do it. There's something called the cold extrusion prevention. Normally, you would have a piece of plastic, thermoplastic, in the nozzle. And if it was cold and you tried to push it down, that can't work because there's nothing melting it. So the printer has a check for that. It's like, ah, if I'm too cold, not going to do anything. Quick rundown of what these things are. This is the desired nozzle temperature, the current nozzle temperature. This is the desired hot bed temperature. This is the current hot bed temperature. I currently do not have hot bed on the printer, but there is an upgrade for Jellybox that does that. This is the current filament cooling fan speed, the X, Y, and Z position in absolute terms. This would be the progress of a print by layer. We're not printing anything. And this is the feed rate, FR, which means speed. You can just turn it up or down just by turning the knob. That changes the actual speed of the printer. All right, we're definitely hot enough now to try some stuff. So let's instruct the printer. Go to Adjustments, Extrude, Retract, and let's extrude, like, I don't know, 10 millimeters. Doesn't matter. The extruder motor should start spinning. It doesn't. Why not? Because I did one of the most common mistakes people do. When I put in the extruder, I forgot to connect the E motor wire. So turn it off, plug the motor wire in on the top of the motor. And let's do it again. Now it should work. We're heated up again. Here's a suggestion, quick upgrade for you. Take some sort of marker and make a little mark somewhere on your drive gear. This way you'll see visually that it's rotating without having to touch it. So go to adjustments, extrude, retract, and let's extrude, I don't know, 50 millimeters. And you see right away that the drive gear is rotating. And it's rotating in the correct direction, which would be counterclockwise, because it needs to push the filament down. I can also just feel for the rotation. Very simple. Well, good.